Hey Vsauce, Michael here. Where are your fingers? No, I'm just kidding. Welcome back to part 2 of the Mini Tars series. So last video I went over my basic concept of a Raspberry Pi and Arduino powered robot inspired by Interstellar's Tars. If you can recall almost a month ago, all that video had was CAD renders and basic ideation. But today we're going to talk about the frame printing and how I've got the Raspberry Pi and Arduino talking over serial to drive some of the servos. I got around to printing the main center frame. I printed it on my end 3 with just some bog standard cheap uh, PLA filament. It came out really nice actually and it all lined up really nicely. It didn't warp much or anything like that. I haven't printed the outer legs yet as I need to buy more filament so that will come later down the line. After I got this basic communication stuff working, most of the other parts arrived, like the battery and the proper sized servos, as well as the DC to DC buck converter. I've tested most of the parts now, uh, but they're still not fully implemented as I just haven't had time. However, it's coming together nicely. After that, I refined the Raspberry Pi and Arduino serial connection so they talk stably and can handle if uh, one of them's not picked up straight away and on boot. So it's a two-way serial connection as I'll have the Arduino monitor battery voltage levels so it can send a command to the Raspberry Pi and tell it, you know, the battery is only at 6.5 volts. It's a 7.4 nominal voltage battery. It can safely shut down the Mini Tars program on the Pi before the battery goes flat. Um, next up, you can see some footage of it working taking a mock step, yes it's a popsicle stick as the arm, as I haven't printed the outer arms yet, but it works really well, it has a like two, two stage step sequence, so it lifts the shoulders up and then rotates out, and it does it in reverse to lower itself back down. One thing I did do wrong when ordering the parts is I ordered the wrong heatsink for the Raspberry Pi. I didn't realize in my frantic mess of trying to find a Raspberry Pi 4B heatsink, I accidentally got a Raspberry 5 one, and it is nowhere near fitting, so I have to order a new one, but it's alright because the Mini Tars Python script isn't very heavy at the moment, so the Raspberry Pi is not really working. Just a little bit of passive calling is fine for it at the moment. One of the final things at the moment which is holding me back is getting the SPI LCD working, but it just refuses to work. The drivers just don't want to work. I've tried like three different YouTube tutorials, like different community drivers for like the, the Illy 9341 driver, it just doesn't work. Uh, that's the only thing that's held this project back at the moment. That's why it's taken so long to get this video out because I've tried absolutely everything I've been trying that desperately to get this uh, LCD working. I messed around with the Raspberry Pi's frame buffer settings in the boot.txt file. Uh, don't do that, especially if you don't remember to change them back to what it was before exiting the file and rebooting. I did a slight oopsie where I had both frame buffers enabled at once, so I soft bricked the Raspberry Pi. I couldn't SSH into it, I couldn't do anything, it refused to boot because it couldn't load any type of display. So I had to take the SD card out, take it to my Windows desktop, and then go into the SD card and manually edit the boot.txt file and try again. And then it worked, and then I could SSH back in and it all worked. So other than that, it's all gone pretty smoothly besides this LCD, but I will keep trying. If anyone knows how to get an Illy 9341 LCD working with a Raspberry Pi, not over HDMI, just cloning the HDMI signal, that would be great. Other than that, thank you all very much for following along and waiting this agonizingly long month, month and a half for the second part of this video. It's just taken so long because we're ramping up to mid-year exams, which is a lot. Um, but hopefully after these mid-year exams I can really get back into working on mini towers and getting some 
uh, outer legs printed and the other servos because I also forgot to order one of the servos but it'll be on its way soon. Thank you all very much for watching. Feel free to subscribe if you want to see more content like this. It is on the way. It'll be soon. Hopefully not as long. Or don't subscribe. If you don't want to subscribe, dislike the video. Send all the hate comments you want. Bye.